Hello friends, welcome to Green Peach YouTube channel. This channel will discuss about high yielding and most repeatedly asked questions for those who are preparing for medical PG entrance. If you didn't subscribe our channel so far, please do it and click the bell icon next to it to receive notifications. Feel free to click the like button and share your comments. Hello friends, today we will discuss about neonatal sepsis. Neonatal sepsis can be broadly classified into early sepsis and late sepsis. Those sepsis occurs within 72 hours of childbirth is the early neonatal sepsis. Most common etiological factor for this early neonatal sepsis is the organism prevalent in the female genital tract. Whereas the sepsis occurs after 72 hours of birth is late neonatal sepsis. Causative agent for late neonatal sepsis is the organism prevalent in the external environment. Main source is from the hand of the care providers. Overall, the most common cause of neonatal septicemia and meningitis is Streptococcus agalactica. Most common cause of neonatal sepsis in India is E. coli. Whereas, most common cause of neonatal sepsis in the hospitals in India is by Klebsiella. Whereas, the most common cause of neonatal sepsis in hospitals all over the world is by E. coli. Moving on, we will look into the predisposing factors of neonatal sepsis. Predisposing factors for early onset neonatal sepsis are low birth weight, prolonged rupture of membrane, foul smelling liquor, meconium aspiration. Whereas predisposing factors of late onset neonatal sepsis is aspiration, lack of breastfeeding, umbilical cord sepsis and low birth weight. We will look into the laboratory diagnosis for neonatal sepsis. Mainly we will get neutropenia. Rarely neutrophilia occur in severe neonatal infection. There will be an increase in the immature neutrophils and there will be increase in ESR and CRP. Now let's have a look into the treatment options of neonatal sepsis. For neonatal pneumonia, we have to treat with ambicillin and gentamicin. Whereas for neonatal meningitis, we have to treat with ambicillin, gentamicin and chloramphenicol. Or we have to use ambicillin plus in the third generation cephalosporins. Cephotaxin for example. Thank you very much. If you listen to this topic properly, you will definitely answer this question. Early neonatal sepsis occurs within option A 12 hours, option B 24 hours, option C 48 hours, option D 72 hours.